All New at 5, a pretty interesting story to get to now because thieves all over Metro Atlanta, they're stealing what restaurants and thieves call liquid gold, which is something everyone wants. Take a look at this surveillance video. It's of criminals using that white truck to siphon used cooking oil. This is an amazing story. It isn't just restaurant owners who are being hurt by what's become a crime now. It's leading to spills that threaten our water supply and they're causing crashes. This surveillance shows thieves backing up a white van to steal used cooking oil from Devon Restaurant in Midtown Atlanta. They spilled some of the oil. You can see it seeping into the street. I go to turn and then suddenly I'm down. Like my bike is sliding across the road. It's crazy. 17-year-old Ashlyn Whitfield's motorcycle hit that patch of cooking oil and she wiped out. This is police body camera video of her talking to an officer after crashing on Peachtree Street at 15th in July. Fortunately, she only scraped her knee. She snapped these photos of the sand crews used to cover the oil after she wrecked. I was so flabbergasted to hear that there was some secret underground cooking oil ring. The same spill caused a car to crash earlier that morning. And I ended up hitting that pole down. Thieves are stealing used cooking oil from restaurants across North Georgia. Police are trying to find two men who stole used cooking oil from an Athens Chick-fil-A. Channel 2 Action News obtained surveillance videos of thefts in Norcross, Hiram, and Pig and Chick in Shambly. Well, it's been going on for years, but it's just gotten really bad lately. Bill Merrick, co-owner of Pig and Chick, says when workers clean out the fryer, the oil ends up in this container. And then the thieves come along and they cut the locks off and lift this up and cram their hose down there to, to steal the oil. Pig and Chick gets paid by a company that recycles the oil. Usually, the checks are for a couple of hundred dollars. But with thieves frequently hitting the barbecue joint, sometimes on back-to-back -back nights, they're much smaller. I deposited one for $12. This is a worker for DARPRO, a legit company collecting Pig and Chick's oil with proper equipment. 300 gallon container behind this restaurant here might be worth around $1,400. Frank Scoggins is head of security for Darling Ingredients, DARPRO's parent company. Right now, used cooking oil is worth about 65 cents a pound. Primary uses uh, are, are alternative fuel. It's also used in livestock feed and pet food. But in the wrong hands, oil can create expensive messes. Scoggins says thieves often spill oil like this spill in Baltimore that got very close to a sewer drain. When it goes into the water system, it'll clog. That's one reason the company collects surveillance video to help police catch the thieves. Chamley police arrested this guy, caught in the act, and on video, he's charged with stealing more than $900 worth of oil from Pig and Chick. I got three container trucks that look like they're offloading grease into an um, 18-wheeler. This is body camera video of Doraville police questioning three men, transferring used cooking oil into a large construction tanker in October. An investigator with Darling Ingredients says it contained about 8,000 gallons of oil worth $39,000. Is the oil stolen or not? No. no. You're lying. No. no, the oil, no. Listen to me right it's stolen. No, this is not stolen at all, bro. One of the trucks has the same marking on the front fender as this truck seen stealing oil. But police say the three men are only charged with trespassing because they don't have enough evidence to charge them with theft. Ashlyn Whitfield has this message for all oil thieves. It definitely is not a victimless crime. You're affecting people's safety. Now, the National Renderers Association estimates that up to $75 million worth of used cooking oil is stolen each and every year. Okay, so is this, Karen, one person doing this? We saw a video there. Uh, or is this like a, like an organized ring of people doing this? It's hard to believe, but Darling in Ingredients, which is the company we worked so closely with, says it's both. Uh, they're seeing the organized theft rings and they're seeing some other individuals, but the theft rings are really big in the South. The reality is they steal it and they make money, fine, but you can see the impact it has on like that, that woman who was on a bike and, and all the, the trash and the oil in the streets. Something you would think no one wants, liquid gold. That's in what the police are calling it too. Incredible, really eye-opening. Good yes. stuff, Karen. Okay.